Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. So today I have a small Louis Vuitton unboxing. Now I have already decided to return these. So I was really debating on whether I should even make this video because generally if I buy something and decide that it's not gonna work out for me, I just send it back or return it. And I really don't make a video about it because I just don't want to be that channel where I just seem to buy things to just unbox it and then return because that is definitely not my intention but the reason I decided to actually show you this item before I return it is because it is a brand new wallet style from Louis Vuitton and I noticed that there is like one video on this wallet so there's really not a lot of resources out on YouTube or anywhere so if any of you even one of you are considering this wallet at least I wanted to provide some information out there so there's some sort of resources I always find videos on items that I'm interested to buy really helpful and that is the only reason I am making this video. So let's have a look at the item itself and I'll also go through the reasons why I don't think it's really necessary for my collection and why I've decided to return it personally. As you can see, it is a pretty small item and it is the brand new wallet style from Louis Vuitton called the Lisa wallet. So it is a very compact wallet in the bifold style it is in the monogram. It currently only comes in the monogram, but the interior color comes in three different colors, I believe, at the moment. I picked it up in this hot pink color, but it also comes in a beautiful soft green interior lining and also a lavender colored lining. If you guys watched my last video, which was a luxury shopping vlog, you guys can see that I was checking out all three colors. And yes, I was there with my bestie and I kind of decided to buy this quite spontaneously. And to be frank, I think I made a bit of an impulsive decision when I saw it. You know, I'll get into my story as to why I think I'm gonna return it after I finish showing you the wallet itself. So it does have that really pretty zipper pull. I do actually really like that. That's a nice touch in the LV logo. It does have four credit card slots. It does also have a slip pocket here, a slip pocket there. So you can probably fit six credit cards. And then you also have a bill compartment, which I really like the idea of not having to fold your bills in a compact wallet. And then it does have that zipper compartment. So that's where you can store some coins. I do like that it is gusseted on the one side so the wallet can expand out and you can probably fit quite a few coins in there. Even though I don't like to overstuff my wallets with coins, it is a nice option. And it just has the snap closure, which makes the wallet really, really compact. So I believe this Lisa wallet was released only a few weeks ago, if not maybe a couple of weeks ago. I was just randomly browsing the Louis Vuitton website. I sometimes do that for the new in items. And and this wallet immediately caught my eye. So I was looking up the pictures, but the Louis Vuitton website didn't really have good detailed pictures. It did have some pictures, but I couldn't really see, you know, for example, the slip pockets or the bill compartment really well. So I really wanted to go into the store to check these wallets out. What really drew me to this wallet is how compact it is whilst having all of the wallet functions. Like I briefly mentioned, with most compact wallets, you will have to fold your bills, but I really like the idea that it did have a full bill compartment so your bills can stay straight and organized. It has a coin section so you don't necessarily have to carry around a separate coin purse and six credit card slots is more than enough. A lot of compact wallets will have a flap closure like this. A good example of that is your Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet and whilst the flap does make the wallet look a lot prettier it does add to the bulk of the wallet so that's what I really liked about this one that it is just a bifold wallet and I feel like Louis Vuitton hasn't really had a good bifold wallet to in the past so the Victorine wallet would have been the closest thing to a slim wallet like this that does have all the proper wallet functions rather than being like a card hoarder type so this is definitely a really good choice if you want something really slim that has all of those wallet features I pulled out five of my smallest bags in my collection to show you if this wallet fits in those bags first up is my Chanel square mini flap you can probably already imagine that it fits really comfortably but I can also show you how much space you have left after fitting the wallet and as you can see you still have quite a bit of space so you can fit a lot of other items in. Next is my Hermes Mini Kelly. This has a slightly smaller capacity than the Chanel Square Mini Flap. In this bag it fits really comfortably as well with quite a bit of space to spare. Next is my Saint Laurent Mini Lou camera bag and this mini bag for a mini bag is actually really spacious. So this is probably the most spacious bag out of these five bags. So yep, very comfortable fit. 
Next up, I've got my Dior Micro D-Joy bag, which is a dinky little bag. It is a micro bag. So we'll see if this fits because this will be a real test. Okay, so it does kind of fit, but the height of the wallet is basically the same as the height of the bag. So this flap may not come down all the way, but when you just carry the bag, it looks all right, actually. So the flap definitely doesn't come all the way down to where it should be. But when you look at the bag like this, you really can't tell. But that is what the wallet looks like in the Micro DJOY. There's not going to be a lot of space left, but you can still certainly fit a couple other items in there. And finally, I've got my new wallet on chain from St. Laurent in the smaller size. I know typically you don't really carry a wallet in a wallet on chain, but because this is one of the smallest bags in my collection, I still wanted to show you whether the wallet will fit in this bag. And it actually does fit. Now, because this is a pretty slim bag, you won't be able to fit a whole lot more other than the wallet, but you still have a little bit of space left there. So I guess that basically sums up what you actually really need to know about this wallet if you're considering it. It is the type of information that you won't be able to get from the Louis Vuitton website and you certainly can't bring all your mini bags into the store to try this wallet in. So I thought it might be helpful to show you guys how this Compact Lisa wallet fits into those mini bags that you guys are probably quite familiar with. Now let's get into the reason why I don't think I'm going to keep this wallet. The biggest reason I picked up this Lisa wallet is to have an alternative for my current wallet that I've been using for the last year or so, which is this Kelly Pochette from Hermes. Now it is a pretty delicate wallet because it is in the color cray. So I can already see that it has gotten a little dirty over the time that I've been using it. Three big reasons why I wanted to switch out of this Kelly pocket wallet into something like this Lisa wallet, which seemingly is a lot more carefree. So that is the first point because my Kelly pocket wallet is in this cray color and it was quite an expensive wallet for a compact wallet. When I have my baby very soon, those of you who watch my videos regularly know that I am pregnant and about to give birth in a couple of weeks. So when I have my baby, I wanted a wallet that is a lot more carefree because this has happened to so many of my friends that had little babies that things just get ruined. And I just didn't want to ruin my very pristine cray wallet. So I wanted something that will function like my Kelly pocket wallet but something that is going to be a lot more carefree, like the Louis Vuitton Monogram one. The other big thing, even though I absolutely love this Kelly Pocket Wallet with that Kelly buckle, that buckle actually sticks out. So in certain mini bags, the buckle can really limit the amount of stuff that I can fit around it because that buckle sticks out and takes up some space. So I wanted a wallet of a similar size that was completely flush. And one more reason, this Kelly Pocket Wallet fits quite a lot, but there's just one compartment. So if I want to fit bills in it, I just have to fold it and put it in, which is not a problem because I don't use a whole lot of cash, but I really like the idea of not having to fold any bills in this wallet. So for those reasons, I thought this will be a great wallet to switch into out of my Kelly Pocket wallet. But here's the thing, a couple of things really stood out to me when I brought this wallet home. First, when I opened this, when I got home and I got my Kelly pocket wallet to switch out of, I looked at the both of them and you know what guys, it was so underwhelming. I can't really explain it, but the Louis Vuitton wallet just didn't make my heart sing, even though it ticks all of the boxes and fulfills all of the criteria that I had for a compact wallet for my current life stage. When I opened it, I just didn't love it as much as I love this Kelly pocket wallet. The second thing, to be very honest with you guys again, you know this interior color? Like I mentioned, they have three colors at the moment. None of those three colors were really exactly the right color that I really liked, but I felt like out of the three, this pink was probably the one that I preferred the most. So even though I didn't even absolutely love this color, I picked this color. So when I got home and looked at this pink color, I don't know, I really didn't love it. The other thing, this LV zipper pull, even though it is a really, really pretty charm on the wallet, I think in a compact wallet, it will be more practical to have a smaller zipper pull so that this one doesn't actually take up space or stick out in the wrong direction. 
So if I have it laying like this, obviously it is going to be flush, but I can't always be fixing the zipper pull to make sure that it's not really sticking out. So if it's like this or like this, you know, it's gonna stick out and it's gonna cause the same sort of annoyance as this Kelly buckle. I know it doesn't stick out like this and I can have it lying in the right way, but even then, when I was trying this wallet in a few of my mini bags, I noticed already that I was getting a bit annoyed with how this zipper pull was lying. And lastly, I kind of had a realization that I don't love the bifold wallet style in terms of the aesthetics. I think it looks quite masculine. You know, when you look at guys' wallets, this is kind of the configuration. For a little while, I couldn't work out why I didn't love the look of this wallet so much. And you guys know that I also have a Bottega wallet in the same style. Here it is. So I do have a Bottega wallet in that same style. It is a bifold style, exactly the same sort of layout. And I should have known I don't use this wallet. I just haven't sold it or let it go yet because I just love the Bottega leather. And I'm just not sure whether there's a lot of resale value in Bottega wallets, um, but it is something that I don't use. And I realized when I got this Lisa wallet that they are very similar wallets. So I finally figured out that I didn't love the style because a bifold style, even though it does have that huge pro of making the wallet really slim without that flat closure, it just looks really masculine in terms of the style. So I finally came to the conclusion that that is why I probably don't love this bifold design. And if I'm not even sure about the bifold design, why would I have two in my collection? So I decided the responsible thing would be to return this one. And if I really wanted to try out the bifold design, I should actually start using this one even though I know with the baby and all this lambskin leather is probably not the most durable but hey I already have this in my collection so even if I'm a bit worried about the wear and tear of it it's better than spending another $770 on a design that I'm not sure about so I just made the responsible decision to return this one so that is basically my thought process on this brand new Lisa wallet and the reasons why I still wanted to show you this wallet even though I am not keeping it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as always thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!